fashion because you'll die overseas by crip walking. Me and Capo, smart OGs. Still cripping, Stephen Hawkins. Yo, let's go. Uh -huh. You got two, two, threes, nines, Mac tens, the flip lights and split hats. You brought your niggas with you. Cool. I bet I light skin when I cap all the G's. Fast. Yo, it's your boy Capital Don, aka Capology Facts. You know it's definitely all about the fucking bars, but not today. Jesus Christ, this is about L's today, and it's and it's about uh, Diablo hitting <laughs> this up early in the morning. Normally it's fuck you niggas, but this morning she was on she was on one ready. Hey, she was ready. We gotta morning. talk about it. I said, hey. I'm, I'm in the process of talking about it right now. Let's go. You know what I mean? So, with all that said, welcome, Boxman Rich and Diablo. How y'all doing? Say what's up to the people. What's Hello. up, y'all? Yeah. already know the vibe. Um, we came on here today because we have uh, something seriously serious to talk about. And while we talk about it, we're going to be handing out L's today. This is probably one of the biggest L's of the week. Um, well, hold up. It's a tie. It's between Adi Boom, Takashi, and this gentleman right here. No, it's no, no, no. What the no, fuck no. Adi done did this, now? No, takes it. This, no, this takes it, bro. That Adi Boom 6 9 shit is not the same to... What look, look, what we about to talk about? No, nah, that's that's some no. It's shit. not the same. It's not the same. Ah, but so they they the they tie for L's. They tie for the yeah. biggest L's. That's that's it. Ain't no tie. This is it's not the same. Up. Well, it might be at the biggest L, but Definitely. these three gentlemen took L's this week in this in, in a horrible fashion. Let's, let's just say that. Um, I used to I I grew up with this this young man. Um. Back in the day, back when it was uh uh what was that new Webby, Lil Webby, and Lil Boosie, Savage Life. You know what I mean. And supporting him throughout the years, watched him grow. There has been some fuck shit he has done. There's some things that he's done that 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 is like nigga for real. But this one that it, that happened this week, it made me step back, unfollow, unsupport, and say fuck you, nigga, and ten motherfuckers that look like you, nigga. Fuck you. Because I don't condone the shit that you just did. What made Joe crusty? Black pinky toe looking ass, get on your IG and then sit there and form the saliva to brag about you paying a chick to suck your little son's little Peter. 12 year old son. 12. Year old son and nephews, so this is like a, a normal thing for their family, not just one kid, all of them. Nope, can't say that, can't say all of them because I'd be damned if he's paying grown men to sleep with his daughters. These are fucking facts. I'd be damned he's doing that if he is. He's already in my eyes. You need to go to jail. Period. I don't condone jail on anybody, but when it comes to kids and sexuality, there must be a price to pay. No matter if you are a father or not. 
a mother or not. There are women out here that sell their kids for dope. You know where they go? To jail. For a kid abandonment, child endangerment, sex trafficking. Them are all real charges. But for you to condone the behavior, for you to push this narrative that you was doing right by your son and your nephew by having a grown ass woman have sex with your, your, your son. That is sickening to me. It makes me want to throw up in my mouth. I'm even appalled that, well, I'm not appalled because I've seen this happen before many a times. I've, I've heard the story, you know. But this woman that actually was so broke that in her mind that she had to sit there and, and do this favor for little Boosie. For, to a 12-year-old, not 16, not 17, 18, 12 years old, the nigga barely had pubes on his balls. The only thing he knows sex-wise is what he sees on TV. Nigga ain't even graduated eighth grade yet. Still a fucking elementary. But they are, but look, nowadays, now, they are doing that shit. And in, 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 in them age groups. I had a friend that her daughter, she was 13 and had her first, first child. By the age of 15, she had two going on three. So, it's in it's in this world like that. Even back in my day, when in, in junior high school, I was sexually touching girls and things like that. But with my story and my background, if I told you, Bronx, Bronx knows. If I told you, you you were like, oh, that's why you was doing that. This is what you're going to do with your son. You're, you're, first of all, you introduced him to sex. His body does not compute with sex. It's going to feel good to him. His body is going to make his brain think it's going to make him feel good. But in actuality, you just fucked up your son's life mentally. This is what happened for R. Kelly. <laughs> you see how that shit turned out. That's a fact. Now he's going to think all women are obligated to do that. He gonna think they 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 gonna he's not gonna have respect for women like that. He's not gonna have respect for relationships like that. You took he's a gonna... child and you embedded in his mind that sexual acts equates to his manhood. You did this in order to make him a man to quote unquote fight off, you know any homophobic, I mean, any, you know what I'm saying, homosexuality, that be like, he not, they're not going to be gay. My kids don't know what's up. Like, how many, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of gay men in the community, in the gay community that have been molested as a child. This is child molestation. This you is have a lot of straight, you have a lot of straight men that, that got molested when they was younger, you know, also, that are straight. Like, how was this the rites of passage into manhood? <laughs> Listen, little, little Boozy obviously already experienced <laughs> with, the, with the Dwayne situation. Um, he, I don't know if he's doing it because of that, but little, little Boozy already exposed his little 12 year old and his nephews to, you know, sexual acts. You know, that's controlling them. You feel me? You're, you're controlling their minds now. You're not stimulating their minds with something that they could do for the future because sex 
you can have sex and not even have feelings for anybody. So that doesn't make you a man. You feel me? If you're putting in his head that this makes you a man, you know, he's definitely heading towards the wrong direction. But, you know, Lil Boost probably grew up like that. That's how he probably grew up. You know, he came up like what you said earlier, old Webby. Didn't Webby have a situation in 106 in Park with, with Roxy or whatever? Like, th this is probably, you know, how, how they've been growing up, you know, and they putting it now to their children because that's how they are. They think that makes them a man. So it's not right. You feel me? Um, it's 2020. But, Why are we not breaking generational curses? Why are we still subjecting our children to the same gener generational curses we were subjected to? That's a fact. It's we, 20 not, fucking 20. We're not breaking the cycle. The generation is getting worse, and we have to blame with the people that, you know, was above them because that is the role models. That's the people they look up to. So why is the generation so fucked up? Because we're fucked up, and we're not all collectively changing it. So you're right. Nobody's, it's 2020, and the cycle is still going. And it's probably going to still go because there's a lot of ignorance. World star hip-hop, look at all of this. You feel me? Now social media is creating, you know, content for everybody to see. And now you see the personality of these rappers and how they are. Because we're not hearing their music. We're, we're hearing that now what they got to say in their thoughts because of what they've done. So it's just like now we're really getting in, in deep with them and you look how they are, man. It's like crazy, crazy shit like this. It's like okay to get next at 12. Like, come on. <laughs> like, how you get... Like, come on, man. Like, to be to be honest with everybody, like, I got neck by a shorty at a very young age, and I became addicted to, like, having shorties give me head. That's not good. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's what you're going to do to him. Now, he's going to want all the time by a shorty now because he feels like, you feel me? Like, that's look, not good. I'm telling you. I'm going I'm to I'm say this because, and, 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 and it don't matter to, you know, I, I really want to put this in perspective. From the age of five to, to 10, I was molested, okay? When I, got to, when I got to a certain age where, you know, in my young thinking, thought that my body was aroused to that. And I didn't know, understand the psychological part until I started seeing therapists at an older age. But when I was younger, when I got to like 13, 14, 15, the, the, the era I was in, if you were gay, you was talked about. You were shunned. You was thrown out, right? So I didn't want to feel that way because I knew what was happening was wrong but didn't have an outlet to speak because in the black community, that shit you couldn't speak about, right? So throughout my years of growing up, I've been with so many women. So I wouldn't have to feel like I was the one wrong as a child. Growing up to be a, a, a teenager, an adult, made me feel like now I'm gay because somebody took my childhood, my innocence. You know what I mean? From that point, I was masturbating all the goddamn time. That's why I was in these public, these uh, these uh, middle school, me and the girls following each other. You know what I mean? So then, when I got to where I was started fucking, I'm fucking every chick I can because I'll be damn, I'm gay. Nope, that's not me. Uh uh. Nope. You looked at me like I was gay. Nope. I'm, let me go fuck this chick real quick. That was the, 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 the pain. That was the scars that was left with me that I had to, as a child, work through life with. Me having all these women, that wasn't healthy for me. Me playing all these women wasn't healthy for me. Listening to Snoop, Too Short and all them niggas, my, my, the, the essence. Made it even worse. <laughs> Fuck these hoes. Fucking all these bitches. Just That's so I can feel better with myself <laughs> because 
I felt guilty out all the whole the, the, from five years old until I went to a therapist, and the therapist started teaching. I'm start listening. Now I'm starting to change my mental. Not trying to degrade women. If my mom called me a um, what she called me um, someone that has a, a a a lot of a lot of women uses a lot of women. Um, damn, what's the word? No. Um, it's a more disgraceful word than that. Um, she didn't like how I was moving. Cause I had like women, yes, women left and thought. right. She called you left. the old school like um, word of a thought. Yeah, yes. but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, thought, but the old school way, like. Girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. How I use women, how I have this, how I use this girl, how I be with this girl, how I'm about to have a child with this one. You know, that, that type of shit. My mom. So, I'm just saying. These are the, the pressures. This is the, 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 where you just changed your child's mind and how he's going to have to, like he's perceiving the world because of your lack of judgment of being a father, probably not even having your father in your life to really teach you how to move in life. I didn't have a father to teach me how to move in life. We was getting it from the music, and they was teaching us not to cuff and fuck these hoes, you heard? Right. We was doing right. We wasn't being instructed to build your queen up, make sure the, she's... The, 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 the black the foundation program and, now to feel like emotions are bad. You know what I mean? The black man, it's, it's not okay for the black man to be able to deal with emotional trauma because they're never taught that, emo that there's healthy ways to deal with emotion. If you're emotional, yeah. you're weak. Yeah, you know, at, at at age, when I was in high school, I was still a virgin in high school, right? Damn. Um, that's the, the middle school shorties. The middle school. No, no, I, I, no, no. To be honest, even though I was going, even though I was going through all that, the Bronx middle school shorties. When I was sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Shit, you had to lose it. I mean, I, I, I could have, but I don't. I think it was more of just they you know, all that playing around, like fingering and in, shit like that. If you was in the hey, Cap, I'm telling you this right now. If you was in New York City schools, you would have lost in Virginia in middle, in middle school. Well, no, because this is why I was going with it. I wanted to be a virgin because I was in church. I was raised up in church, right? I want I I didn't want to lose my virginity my virginity until I got married, mm -hmm. right? And this was all the way up to when I I lost my virginity at seventeen though. I was all the way up to seventeen. If I heard this today, I would have gave myself an L, right? <laughs> so I want I. I after I lost my virginity, it was to an older chick, right? I cried. I thought I was going to hell because, <laughs> because I just had sex with this chick. <laughs> I wasn't married to her. But I why cried. did you feel was going to hell, though? Why did you feel like you was going to hell? Because I, I was in church. And, and the church taught you that what? That you had to wait until you're married? Yeah, you, can't, things, yeah, you, can't, you, can't, yeah, you can't be doing none of that shit. Who in those churches were having sex every Bro, night. Do you, you have to understand the you have to understand the era. This is like eighty five, nigga. Like you have to, I'm <laughs> you have to go through that, bro. Sorry you have to go through the to the manipulation. She said, I'm sorry you had to go through that. <laughs> so so that that was the that was the control. Yeah, plane, that's what they, right. That, but that's then me. after that, after after that cry, I became a hoe. Because things start playing in my mind from, it's always going to be with you. It, whatever trauma you have, it's always going to be with you. It's always going to play a part in your mentality. It's always going to control you if you let it, right? 
So these are the things that will reoccur through life, right? I'm glad that I didn't become one of those people. I didn't, wasn't gay. I didn't turn out to be a molester. I didn't turn out to be a rapist. I'm just a normal guy with mental issues that if you fuck with me, I will kill you in a horrible death. But uh -huh. you grew up in era, though. You feel me? You grew now. Let, let's see. Somebody sees that live, and, and one of these little kids that be watching the live, they, they're growing up in a different era now. They might not be as strong as you are. They 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 might turn gay. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, you dealt with it, but are the, this generation of kids watch watch that live and think like, oh, he's getting late, he paying for it? So let yeah. me go find a pay and get some head. You feel what I'm right. saying? Like, right. Those kids that's watching the live. Go do that, pay to get some head by a prostitute, and then he catches something. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like a different thing right now. And it's like the way me and you grew up, you know, it's just different eras. This era right here, I don't think if they went through what you went through, they could pass it. They'll probably pop a pill, overdose. Or and, that's a, and that's another thing that irritates me. The bitch could have gave your son a disease. 12 years old, you done fuck this baby up for life. For money, obviously you can give him. Son, come on, you got to pay. You can give him STDs through sucking dick. Oh. I'm sure. I'm sure you probably didn't even have condoms for him. The way you popping out babies, nigga. I'm sure you were not. So all those pool parties you be having, you be having your kids all in the middle of that shit. You know what you're teaching them? That all women are hoes. And all women are, are, aren't hoes. There are hoes, but not all the women. Okay? There's women, and then there's hoes. Right? But I don't condone the hoes be for fucking a 12-year-old either. I don't care how much money a nigga give you. Bitch, you should have you smacked that nigga in the face and left up out of there. But I guess you're so thirsty... Because a nigga got money that you can do that. No woman in their right mind would will allow another man to tell them to suck a 12-year-old dick. 12 fucking years old. Like, as a mother, what in your mind is... What the fuck makes you want to put your mouth on a baby, bro? Think about this, though. What about those school teachers that be having sex with their students? Like, fem some females like that. Some females will do it. Some females are okay with it. You feel know I me? Mean? It's like, it happens. So it's just like, there's really no way to stop it. It's no, it's because they didn't get that love they were supposed to get when they was younger, bro. It was That's all, all it is. They didn't different. get the love they wanted. They didn't get the father love they wanted. For example, like, Ever since I've had kids, when they was growing up, once they knew how to understand things, I was always vocal about my situation, what this world is, this world's crazy, you know, you need to do this, A, B, C, D, because I don't want shit like this to happen to you, right? Once my baby mama got, you know, we got to a point where she took my kids away from me, brainwashed them. Oh, your dad ain't shit. He don't want to come see you. These type of things, which is crazy. And so she 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 takes them away, right? Can't see them, can't can't get a hold of them, no none of that. So now that my 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 baby girl, she knew all the way up to the age of 10. What I what I expect from her, and she will make make a list. That shit's out the door now. Her fast ass thinks she grown. She out here fucking under her watch, and the reason why because her motherfucking husband molested my daughter for years. Yeah, dang. So now she out here fucking sneaking guys in and I got to find out through third party. The mom came to be a mom and, and, and suck it up and like 
because she thinks she's just, you know, the baddest parent. You know what I mean? The, the, not the baddest parent. She thinks she's the, the perfect parent. She don't do no wrong. And if she does, she sweeps her under the rug. So she, she don't feel like she's, she wants to feel perfect. So, but you dropped the ball and oh, allowed no. this lame ass <laughs> nigga to lay down with our daughter many a times up under your nose. And now our daughter out here wilding. The, see, you already, I didn't even have to ask. I was going to say, so your daughter's wilding now? She wilding. And I, I don't have no control. You see what I'm saying? So this is what they're growing up to. That's, you just Facts. This Facts. This shit is, bro, this they shit, grow, this shit is going to be a... Uh, our minds that sex, sex rules. That's why only this, fans... But it's like you got to get the brand for the sex because sex rules right now. Like, and, it's, and you notice it everywhere. Like, you can get money just, 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 just for having the fans only. Like, this shit is ridiculous. You feel me? And, it's oh, like, and, and don't let me get on the fans only. <laughs> get, don't let me get on them helpers. Get in bank. You feel me? So, like, down the future, they will find somebody who would want to be with them after they done making their bread with the OnlyFans. Sex sells. It's been selling since forever. But right now, since social media is out, it's just at an all-time high, and it's to everybody's faces. All, and we see what happened all around the world. Like, but see, but, but, for, been but for me, out. but for me, now that I'm educated and understand where these behaviors come from, right? I feel sorry about this much. But I don't feel sorry because as an adult, you should be able to learn from your mistakes. You should be wanting to learn and and get in tune in your mental health. Because mental health is real. Okay? I suffer from depression. I'm borderline personality disorder. And I have PTSD. Okay? I, it fucks with me, right? But me going through my therapist, me learning what to do at this at a certain time when my mental is compromised. I could have went out and killed myself when I found out my daughter what happened to her, because then I, it's like the it's a revolving door. It happened to me. It happened to my kids. It's gonna happen to their kids. You know what I mean? That hurts me. That hurts me right here to the core. You understand me? I could take it because it, it was me. Do what you do. It's me. If you want to make my life like live in hell and I gotta, I gotta figure it out. Cool. But let my kids live. That will fuck up any person's mental. And it depends if how strong you are to bounce back and don't let your mental health define you, control you, and make you do some crazy shit where you can't come back from it. Y'all want the real capo? I tell you the real capo. This shit ain't nothing to be joked about. That's why I was off on Tech Nine. That's why I'm off on R. Kelly. I've been in it. I don't condone that type of shit, bro. That shit, I want to kill all you motherfuckers. Very slow. Very, very slow. And if you don't understand the slowness of the killing I want to do, you might want to go look up in the archives, Brother Lynch Hung. Who? Brother, brother with an A, Lynch Hung. That's a 90s group. He's a 90s guy. He's, he's one of the guy. He's one guy? It's not like a group. That's brother what Lynch Hung. No. Brother Lynch Hung, he's a crip from Sacramento. All his music was about murdering, eating people. Torturing, killing, that grind that make you that make you in that mood. You wanna slit a nigga from head to toe, take his guts out, maybe cook him <laughs> up. You know, that type of shit. 
Bro, I ain't never want to eat nobody. Like, how uh, fucking I'm just saying the mental, the the mental, the mentality he had back then. That was my theme music back then. When I wasn't, when I was in the streets, when I want to go do dirt, popping brother Lynch. If I want to fuck a bitch, popping brother Lynch. If I'm riding with the homies, I'm popping in brother Lynch. It died brother Lynch out. You ask anybody. Even my homegirls. We'll ride through the park, smoking. Two light skin, three light skin chokes, chilling, smoking. They know what time it is. At any time, it can pop off. Have you ever seen a nigga pop out the car with three bad light skin shorties, light brights? Hmm. Strapped up. Oh, strapped hmm. up. Hmm. Have you ever seen that type of shit? Nope. I lived that shit. Okay. That's because you wanna know why? Because what happened to me from five to ten. Hmm. So that was that brother Lin- that was that brother Lynn shit that you related to. From five to ten, when I was being molested, that when I got older. I was wild. I didn't understand what was going on. I was just living. I just know I wasn't trying to be gay. Hold on. So you growing up, that's that was the thing. Like you, you had to show that you wasn't gay. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh. I, for me, this that's is my mental. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, in your area, because you you grow up in the what in Kansas City, right? So in the Midwest, yeah. Area. So that's how y'all gave it up or whatever. I guess no, I that's think. how I gave it up. I can't okay. talk about anybody else. Okay, okay. So it was, that wasn't a thing out there? No, that's, that, that wasn't. No, this is a me thing. Oh, that was you in your head doing it to yourself. Copy. Okay, okay, okay. What I know today, I wouldn't have done none of that shit. I wouldn't have done none of that shit. I probably wouldn't have had the same kids. I probably I would have did a lot of things more differently. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have ran to the streets. I wouldn't have started gang banging. I wouldn't have got in trouble. I wouldn't have had to run, be on a run, go to Cali, meet the baby mama. A lot of things, a lot of that shit wouldn't wouldn't have went down. The point is. Once you introduce your kid to that at a young age, you fuck them for life. You fuck them you for life. Fuck that. There, and there's no justification for it. There's no way you can make this shit think, sound okay, boy or girl. How you feel, uh, Diablo? I, I, I really, far far as a woman, and, and I want to get your perspective. You sitting there seeing this far as give me your perspective on how you feel about what he was doing and even the female perspective of the the woman that did the shit. Okay, first the woman who did the shit, like so the the, the molestation rate among women is so much higher than it is among men. So as you said, like the lady who did it, she probably was molesting herself as a child. You know what I mean? Even if she wasn't, she knows someone who was a sister, a cousin, a auntie. Women, we are nurturers. We are mothers. We are protectors. Even if you don't have kids, <coughs> every woman has that maternal instinct in her. So what can make you okay with doing this on a child? It's a baby. You know, you don't want to fix a little nigga nothing to eat? You want to suck his dick? Like you don't wanna you, you don't wanna fix his shoes or fix his shirt or nothing for him. Get him looking all nice. You, you wanna fuck him. A twelve year old. While she talking, this is what I'm gonna give you give you Boosie and that dumb bitch. Here, here, here you go. Go ahead, keep talking. Right, and Boosie. If if this was your daughter, you gonna be okay with this. And your reason for saying you don't want it, that you did this to this baby, you do these to this baby, are so that they want to turn out gay. 
So do you got like some homosexual shit you battling inside yourself? Like why is this? Why are you so adamant about these kids not being gay? Are you gay? You got some shit you need to talk about? Well, hold up. Now that you introduce your kid at a younger age, he is more inclined to experiment in sex with any and whoever. But your dumb nigga you ass have never, have never went to, to, to a therapist. What you say, Bronx? Not with whoever, though. I don't think... No, no, no. no. There are a percentage of those children that is exposed to that life at an early age will experiment in sexual activities with anyone. I'm not saying all of them. I'm saying there is a percentage. That's why, I mean... I, I've been in therapy for a very long time. Like, okay, let's like, like very long time. And all that shit, like, we gonna take all of that out, and we just gonna ask this one question: What the fuck? And your grown ass man makes you look at a child, your child, your sister child, your brother child, whoever child. What makes you look at this child and your man go to sex? What the fuck is wrong with you? It is the, the I, and I blame this on entertainment, music, because oh. they glo like, they glo because they glorify. They don't glorify it. They do. Even they the glorify other sex. Uh, really they glorify. They glorify girls, young looking, looking young, half naked. You know what I mean? They glorify the this shit. See movies, bro. Pocahontas was like twelve or fourteen. John Smith was grown than a motherfucker. All these Disney movies where these girls fourteen and fifteen years old and these grown ass men coming to save them on white horses and shit, take yeah. them off, to get married. <laughs> and even back in the day, older men. Wanted younger women off tops. When I was growing up, when I started having sex, it was more older women I was dealing with. I got that. This is like my junior year. When I got to high school, I had a freshman. Right? It was a couple of years when I had uh, women, a girls younger than me. But that's because I was still a kid. Okay? When I got to 19, 20, I started getting with 45, 38, 40s, 45 year old women. They taught me how to please a woman. You know what I mean? So I've never, when I got to 21, I, I would date an 18 year old. It got to when I was in my 30s, you got to at least be 25. You know what I mean? Now that I'm in my 40, 40s, the minimum maybe is 35 years old. It just depends on where your head is, right? And you can't really say that because you're still growing, still maturing, you know what I mean? I thought my, my ex was 10 years younger than me. She was still young-minded, to be honest. I was already set in my ways. You know what I mean? So we as adults, we have to protect our kids no matter what. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean you don't want your kids to be gay. So let me give, put them a girl. Do you, did, did, did you know if he told you the truth that he enjoyed that? You might have turned them off on women altogether. You might have. There's a percentage that has done that. Research, people. It just doesn't fall in your fucking lap, people. It's called research. 
And it's so crazy because, like, I was one of those young girls dating older guys. Like, this, I was about 17, 18. This guy I was dating, like, he, his kids was older than me. He had kids, like, 24, 25 and shit. But I got three little girls now. I wish the fuck they would. Think you finna walk in my face and tell me you dating a grown-ass man. I will shoot the shit out of him. <laughs> I found out on Facebook, this is a long time ago. This is maybe, my daughter is about to, she's 17 now. I think she was maybe 14, 13, 14. I seen on Facebook that her mom had posted, my daughter brought this boy home to meet her. And the boy was 18 years old. Do you think I got a phone call? I'm going to say you did it. You know how I found out? On Facebook. I didn't get a phone call. So, one... It's the adults that are out here making wrong choices. She's so mad at me, she came a co-parent. She's so mad at me, we divorced in 2005. She's so mad at me, you came to call me when my kids are hurt. It's the adults that are still making the wrong decisions and choices off of their emotions on how they feel. Little Boosie, oh, I don't want my son to be gay. That's his feeling. That's not his son. His son is a, hey, dad, I think. I want my dick sucked, Dad. <laughs> what is more likely that it had to happen? Because we know for a fact that Boosie said he didn't want his kids to be gay. I'm going to make them a man. He's still 12 years old. He's not a man yet. Just because he got some pussy don't make him a man. That means he has to fuck from today from that from that point on to stay a man. Is that what you're saying? So wonder if he get called in for rape. Can we bash you like you bashed Dwayne Wade? I'm not saying I condone what they doing over there. Because at that age you're not you're not supposed to have those type of feelings. You're not in touch with your your sexuality at that fucking age. You can't be. Not to be, I want to be a transsexual. That's that's crazy to me. Little Boosie, you're Boosie. That's, that's, yeah. You just take that S out. Put the T, put the T in there. Boopsie. You got to hold the biggest L in life. I'm not going to be all these other motherfucking followers and still follow your dumb ass. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. I unfollowed you quick. I, you even posted a picture of your daughter, your young daughter and said happy birthday. Under that post, I wrote you a paragraph, nigga. I bet you wouldn't let no pay no man to fuck your daughter. I was a fan of for you of yours for a very long time. And for you to for you to make this mistake, it's a wrap for, for me and you, bro. I ain't supporting you. I guess two fucks about your black crusty ass. I don't give a fuck about what you 
and 10 motherfuckers that look like you. I don't. I unfollowed you quick. Block the fuck out of here. Cabo, let me ask you. Cabo, let me ask you something. One last thing. My prayers are for your kids, not you. Well, let me say that. I need prayer for you too, because your mentality got to change. But I'm praying for your kids' well being and future. Go ahead, bro. All right. So, um, we're a little, uh, we're a little boozy, right? So, I wanted to ask you two things. As a matter of fact, I wanted to ask you two things. Let me ask you the, let me ask you the first. Boozy person. So, if R. Kelly, because you spoke about R. Kelly. So if R. Kelly came out with a trapped in a closet talking about the situation, would you watch it? Talk about what situation? So the situation that he's going through. I mean, he's done it that I didn't listen to it. Well, I'm talking about if he does a trap in a closet. He, he, no, no, he did a song already about the situation. The song, like, 20 minutes long. Oh. I'm not talking so, about did you, you listen to the song? No. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> this is like OJ talking about if I did it with his book. Would you watch it if it was just trapped in the closet, though? And that, no, you wouldn't watch that? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I thought you would, but. Bro, I still have, look, I I, I have Google, Google Play, right? And on my Google account, I uploaded all my music I've had for decades on there, right? I have so much R. Kelly music on there. It's ridiculous. So when I put, like when I go to my library and just hit songs and just shuffle them up and the, the, whole, catalog, the whole catalog plays of all the music that I have, an R. Kelly song come on. I, I, my, my heart aches and pains because this was my joint, but nigga, fuck you. Next. No, I think I'm trying to... Yeah, I, 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 last I, night. You was fucking R. Kelly last night? I was bumping R. Kelly last night. Oh, I thought you said you was fucking R. Kelly last night. No, I was bumping R. Kelly. Last night. No, I, was R. Kelly. I, I, and I want, but look. Hold look. on, let me ask a second question. Let me ask a second question with a little boozy. So... Isn't that a crime if an older woman were to um do that to a young a uh, uh, a minor? Right? Isn't that a crime? Yep. Mm-hmm. And he dry snitched on himself. So that's what I was gonna ask. That's what I was gonna ask. Is that? Then he just snitched. Yeah, he himself. just yeah he did. He yeah, did. He called the fuck to jail. Yeah, he's just like these little young niggas that begin on Facebook Live and Instagram pulling the pistols out. Yeah, I'm gonna do this to you. I'm gonna do that to that's you. Crazy. Wow. You know, shooting up and shit. And That's how six nine the situation he in on Instagram. Talk too much. So, like, I don't. If he goes, he's going to go. It's it's going to happen because he got a lot of backlash off of that. It's bound to happen. Him <laughs> and that girl is going to go to jail. CPS child no, protective no, services nobody, is going to come up to the crib. Nobody's going to jail off this. Who's going to jail? You don't think he, no, no jail time? Like but nothing is going to happen because nobody's going to see it wrong because it was a little boy, not a little girl. Right now, the whole internet, it would have been a whole entire outrage. If it, it was, was a little girl. A young female. But since it's a boy, no, no legal action is going to happen. Now, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to ask yourself, how is this possible? And you, and you just know society. All right? So that's crazy. I just want to put it out that he dry snitched on the le- illegal crime and nothing is going to happen. Yeah, I just want to put that out there. That's why I really wanted to ask the question to put that out there. This is crazy, bro. Like, to be honest, I mean, it, it, I, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm, 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 I unfollowed already. Uh, it, that, that, was, that was it. That was it. I don't Let's care. See- He's known for having you no know, popping pussy in his videos, in his live videos. So he's bringing all this that sex in, in, in that shit. You feel me? And when Dwayne Wade did that, he was the first. He was probably one of the first ones to go out there because you know he ain't with the. All right, it's okay. 
if you're not with the gay agenda. But when you're a name like that, you know it's, it's going to be a lot of a lot of media behind it. So it's like that's why some of the stars don't say a lot of a lot of the, the personal things like how they feel like that because look what happened now. And then he's uh, reacting on it, you know. He's showing, oh, look, my son's not gay. My son ain't gonna be no ain't no transgender. I still ain't gonna apologize to no Dwayne Wade. Look, my oh, my, my, my nephew in there. You feel my little my nephew over there getting head. You feel me? But I, I actually I ask him if a grown ass man can eat his young girl coochie out. You feel what I'm saying? I ask him if that let, let that happen. Pay a man to go do that. You feel me? But no, wait, it, somebody. Yeah, the whole be world will be at the outrage right now. That oh, that oh my God, he had a grown ass man eating a girl. You feel me? Like it just sounds different too because now, that's what that's what that's what our mind is. Now, what age would this be? Okay, what time sex for the father to pay a woman? To have sex with the son. Never, never. You should never. You should never give. You should never give bread to have sex. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be taught that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Have, like, uh, what age? What age is it okay for the the father to get the son some <laughs> some sex? He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Let's yeah, have exactly. a boy wet on his own time. Let's say, let's Let say they be a part of him growing up. Don't force that on that baby. When it's exactly. time for him to have sex, he's gonna have sex. Let it happen. Why is let's... it because as a parent, when your child have sex? Yeah, let, let's I, say don't want, I don't want none of my kids to have sex. But let's that's say all, you... that's all of them, boys and girls. Let's say you with your son, right, cowboy, and your son is in his um, mid twenties. Almost says late twenty, and y'all hanging out, and then you could give him a play with a girl if you guys are hanging. If you have a relationship like that, that's okay because he's a grown man. He already has sex. You prior, so if you give him like, oh, you know, I can give you an alley you. This is your show. It's show. It's it's on you to dunk that. We already established how to you know do it himself and how to approach females himself. Not have somebody pay to give you head, and then now you feel me. And it sucks is he's rich. Nobody's got that bread. So he can give him that money when he grow up. And then he's just going to feel entitled to that. He's going to be fucking all these holes. He's not going to find... Yeah. Gonna, well, not first of all... At an early age. First of all, I, I would uh, I've already instilled to my son and now starting to instill that in my 10-year-old that just because you have money doesn't mean you can go out here and think you can get whatever you want from a woman. Let that happen naturally. You're a better man that way. Your dad has never had to pay. Never. If I wanted to, I could have. But there's no reason for it. But, it, but, falls, it falls oh. right in my lap like this. Sometimes I fumble it. <laughs> well, we don't know if we have millions of dollars. That's because we don't have millions of dollars. Let's say we have millions of dollars, and we I still and, wouldn't do it because do it. I can he I can do it without it. a million dollars. That's what mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell them. Like you can you can still do the same things these rich niggas are going to do because that's how they can get it because of the money. Exactly. That's the only reason why they fuck with you, nigga. Mine is mine is more different because. They want to fuck with a nigga. They, it doesn't matter about the money. It doesn't. They want to give you the pussy for free. But if you're enticing them, hey, I got, I got the money, they're going to take it. They're going to take it. They're going to find a way to, to dangle that money in their hands. And if it's, if it's throwing that pussy on you, it's throwing the pussy on you. You know what I mean? It That's starts true. at home, people. This shit starts at home. Too this simple. is why the, the social media is again out of hand because niggas want to get on here, clout chase, brag about what they got, what they this do. This is the beginning. As you can see, a lot of the legends in hip-hop are now learning about live. 
this is going to be becoming like the start of something different. Like now with the quarantine, a lot of people are now getting involved. A lot of social media. If you see how the accounts and how and how the, it's been generating throughout, you know this this whole situation. Like I don't, lot, I don't know. Boosie's been on on IG before the corona. No, I'm he talking was about making, he was going viral on, on IG on, before the, the corona. corona. That brought as bringing a lot of this is just the beginning. You're gonna see a lot of new things going on. You know, when the challenges happen, a lot of more people can be involved now. There's a lot of more people now that are going to be on social media. It's a big world. Well, look, I, I wanted us to, well, I'm glad that we came on and discussed this with y'all. Uh, Diablo, she was she was the early bird this morning. She wanted her worm. And so she won, <laughs> which was like, oh, okay, it's shit. Hey, I'm all right, let me make some coffee. I already had this blunt rolled up from yesterday. I did. Yeah, this so fast. You know what I mean. And so Saturday, we can, we can, we can, you know, touch on this a little bit more, go in more detail. We over like a, oh, almost bro. an hour and thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah, now, Saturday, we gonna we gonna go right back to battle rap. You heard, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's a fact. That's some a fact. shit happened. Oh, I know. I know y'all know about the championship. Shit. You feel me? Here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Hey, y'all need look. If they we, black have a blog, he put the bag out. No, well, no, I'm not my fault. No, mate. I don't want to. I don't want to give out the details. But you so mean straight. no, I'm eight, but, nigga. You look, mean no, I'm ten, nigga. Like. That's why I said no, eight. That's why I stopped myself because I don't know why I said no, eight, ten. But Sue Surf Loaded Lux is already on the. It's gonna be the main event. I thought it was gonna be on a Smack Valley. No. So we, We'll wait for um. They said it was though. Then they say it was gonna be like in the in the volume. Yeah, and yeah, I watched. Uh, they not I'm gonna put that in no volume, bro. They nah, want all they want I, all that money. We'll save that they for Saturday. They want all that, for, that money. Nigga. Save that for Saturday. They gotta that. make all. They gotta make that money back. <laughs> they want all because you know niggas are gonna come out. They gonna salute to hold on salute to Sue Surf. He dropped the music video. Shit was fire. I think it's called Five. I haven't seen it yet. I will. Yeah, that's a fire. It's fire. It's fire. Um, Sue Surf definitely in contention for one of the best battle rappers who's going to most likely go to the industry. Him or K-Shine. Him or K-Shine. That has to be one of those two. Um, also, I want to I wanna uh, say... I, I will talk to y'all in, here in a second. Let me close this out. This is your boy, Capital Don, a.k.a. Capology Facts. This is Hold This L Podcast. Back with another one. Bronx Man Reds, go subscribe to him. Go follow uh, Diablo at follow me. Scarface under Diablo. Underscore. When I say what? under, underscore people. Diablo under. No. Scarface under Diablo, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say it's underscore Diablo on everything. That's a fact. So go follow them. I holla at y'all. Uh, peace. Don't be out here holding L's, niggas. I'm, I'm just telling y'all that now. Because y'all do, you know who's going to be the first one to give it to you, right? Boozy, the L. We made a special fo- show for Lil Boozy L. Lil Boozy and those pedophile-ass women he hanging out with. Yeah, and them pedophile-ass oh, followers and supporters you, know, you got, potentially. Deuces, nigga. <laughs> <laughs>